S3 S4 physics power calculations. The power rating of lamps and resistors can be checked using the following circuit. So we have two meters here, meter Z and meter Y. Meter Z is our ammeter measuring current. Meter Y is our voltmeter measuring voltage. We can use these in order to calculate power. Power calculations. The potential difference in the supply is varied. At each new setting, the following readings are taken. Current from the ammeter and potential difference. A possible set of results for four different lamps is shown below. We have a lamp with a power rating of 0 0.6 watts, current of 0 0.2 amperes, potential difference 2.8 volts, and then we use the power equation P equals IV in order to find a power which is a little bit less than what we have for the rating. And that's what we expect to see. We expect to see the experimental results to show a power calculated which is less than the power rating because there's always going to be some energy loss within the circuit. And we see the same trend shown throughout. So comparing the data in the power rating column with the data in the IV column, it can be shown that the power rating roughly is equal to current multiplied by voltage if we do the math. With acceptable power losses, we always need to make sure that our calculations are assuming that there is no energy loss within the circuit. Now this equation, P equals IV, can also be represented in the triangle P, I, and V. However, please take note that this equation appears on the relationship sheet as P is equal to IV, the triangle will not be shown. Example 1. A car headlamp is operated at 12 volts from a car battery. A current of 4 amperes passes through the headlamp when it's switched on. Calculate the power rating of the headlamp. Solution. P is equal to IV is equal to 4 times 12, which is 48 watts. Very straightforward. Example 2. An appliance is operated at 25 volts. Calculate the current in the appliance if it has a power rating of 225 watts. This is a little bit more difficult because it requires some rearranging. If we follow the basic physics principles, then we'll maximize our marks. So one mark coming from P equals IV, one mark for substituting in the values correctly, 225 is equal to current multiplied by 25. And then the final mark from a correct rearrangement of the equation, current is 225 divided by 25, which is 9 amperes. Example 3 shows the other arrangement. You have a current of 0 0.6 amp, 0 0.16 amperes going through a lamp with a power rating of 0 0.72 watts. Calculate the potential difference. Again, write the equation as shown, P equals IV for the mark, substitute in for our second mark, and then do the rearrangement to give you 4.5 volts. Here are some examples for you to try. We'd like you to copy and complete the following table. Have a shot yourself. Solutions are on the next slide. Now, when we're dealing with power, generally it goes hand in hand by looking at safety. Power rating is a measurement of the energy consumed by the device every second. P is equal to E over T. Remember that equation from before. P is equal to E over T. So can you correctly wire a plug? A plug, a mains plug, normally contains three wires, the earth wire, the neutral wire, and the live wire. Earth wire is green and yellow, the neutral wire is blue, and the live wire, which is attached to the fuse, is brown. The fuse value is going to depend on the power rating of the appliance and the voltage across it. It's important that all the wires are connected correctly in order to make sure that the 
appliance is operating safely. Now the wiring of the plug is a national four outcome. However, aspects of this is included within the national five course. For household appliances, the current that flows to them is controlled by the fuse in the plug. In the UK, the two most common values of fuse are 3 amperes and 13 amperes. The symbol for the fuse is as follows. It looks like a resistor but has a line straight through it. So here's a couple of example calculations we could be asked to do. Calculate the fuse value needed for a 1200 watt hairdryer. Calculate the fuse value needed for a 350 watt electric saw. Now in order to calculate these, we need to use the equation P is equal to IV. However, it appears we don't have enough data because in order to use P equals IV, a valid review is needed. However, for all domestic sockets in the UK, the voltage is quoted at 230 volts. So we can use this for our examples. Example one solution, P is equal to IV, Substituting in the values, we get 1200 is equal to current multiplied by 230, and the current is 5.2 amperes. As 5.2 amperes is greater than 3 amperes, a 13 ampere fuse is needed. Because if we use the 3 ampere fuse, every single time we turn the hairdryer on, too much current will go through the fuse, the fuse would break, and therefore the hairdryer wouldn't work. For example, 2. We follow the exact same procedure. In this case, our current is equal to 1.5 amperes. Now, 1.5 amperes is less than 3 amperes, and so a 3 ampere fuse will be needed. As a general rule, if an appliance has a power rating greater than 720 watts, a 13 ampere fuse must be used. This is a useful rule for us to remember. If an appliance has a power rating less than 720 watts, a 3 ampere fuse must be used. Now have a think. Main sockets. Are they connected in series or connected in parallel? If you think about it, everything we plug into the mains must have the same voltage. Therefore, the main supply to our house is always connected in parallel. We can turn one socket off and all the other sockets will continue to operate and all of the sockets get exactly the same voltage. In fact, they're connected in a very special kind of circuit called the ring circuit. So called because, well, it looks like a ring. But within that ring, each of the sockets are connected in parallel, receiving the same voltage, and each can be used independently. Another equation that can be used for power is P is equal to I squared R. This equation, just like P equals IV, appears on the relationship sheet. In this equation, P is the power measured in watts, or joules per second, I is the current measured in amperes, and R is the resistance measured in ohms. This equation only appears in the National 5 course. You want to come across it within the third or fourth level courses, but it is on the relationship sheet. Example 1. The flex of an appliance has a resistance of 0.2 ohms. The maximum safe current that can pass through the flex is 5 amperes. Calculate the maximum power rating of the flex. So for the solution, for one mark, we write the equation P equals I squared R. Substitute in the values. And we end up with a power of 5 watts. Example 2. Power rating of a kettle is 2. 1300 watts. When the current in the element is 10 amperes, to calculate the resistance of the element. Again, it's fairly straightforward. Follow the basic physics principles, write the equation, substituting the values, and here we have two marks. We do have some rearrangement involved. It's useful to work out that squared calculation first. 10 squared is equal to 100, and then rearrange to find the resistance value of 23, watt, 23 ohms. This doesn't normally cause too much difficulty. In example three, however, we tend to have a little bit of difficulty because we have a square term of current, and current is what we're looking for. The element of a toaster has a resistance of 57.5 ohms. 
If the power rating of the toaster is 920 watts, calculate the current of the element. So following through the solution, one mark for the equation, one mark for the substitution, and now comes where the difficulty is. Our current squared is equal to 920 divided by 57.5, which is equal to 16. But that's not our final answer. We don't want current squared, we want current. So we need to square root that 16 to get a current of 4 amperes. So just watch out for this one. Here's a table containing some values of current and resistance. By completing this table, you'll gain experience in using P equals I squared R. Have a shot, pause the video, and then the solutions will be on the next slide. Here's the solutions. If you didn't get any of them correct, recheck your calculations and try again. Another equation which can be used for power is P equals V squared R. Again, this only appears in the National 5 course and is contained on the relationship sheet. You should know most of the variables already. Power is measured in watts, joules per second. V is the potential difference of the voltage measured in volts. And R is the resistance measured in ohms. Example 1. A microphone has a resistance of 75 kilowatts. When it's operated from a 3 volt supply, calculate the power rating of the microphone. Now, when we've got straightforward calculations like this at National 5, we tend to add in a little bit of extra detail, a little bit of extra difficulty. So we see we have this kilo term. We need to make sure to watch out for that when we do a final calculation. Remember, K or kilo means times 10 to the 3, or multiply by 1,000. So P equals V squared over R, which is 3 squared, divided by 75 times 10 to the 3 giving us a value of power to be 1.2 times 10 to the negative 4. Now, wherever we see scientific notation, there's always a little bit more difficulty. So we just need to make sure to take a little bit of extra care when we're doing these examples. Example 2, a 9.6 watt speaker has a resistance of 15 watts. Calculate the maximum operating voltage of the speaker. For the solution, write down the equation as we're given on the relationship sheet. Substituting the values, rearrange, and we're ending up with a value for v squared. We don't want v squared, we want v. So we need to make sure to square root that number in order to get the answer of 12 volts. In example 3, 0.16 milliwatt amplifier has a voltage of 20 millivolts across it. Calculate the resistance of the amplifier. Again, we have to watch out for the milli. Milli means times 10 to negative 3 or divided by 1000. One mark for the equation, one mark for the correct substitution. Now see if you don't convert this, see if you don't put times 10 to negative 3, you won't lose the mark yet. If you were to put 0 0.16 and 20 here, you would still gain the marks with the substitution because you showed that you understood what you were doing, you just maybe missed out the, the milli times 10 to negative 3. So the SQA would give you two marks. But you'll only get the correct answer with the correct conversions, which would be 2.5 ohms. So here's a table of potential values. Have a shot. Use the equation P equals V squared over R in order to determine the different values of power, resistance, and potential difference. And then the solutions are on the next slide. Feel free to pause as you're having that shot. Here are the solutions. So review questions. For the review questions, the following triangles can be used. Remember, these triangles do not appear on the relationship sheet. So if you are going to use them, you're going to have to make your own. However, all of the equations from which the triangles were made are on the relationship sheet. Question one. A 920 watt microwave is operated from a 230 volts main socket. Calculate the current flowing through the microwave. Question two, the current flowing through the heater and the shower is six amperes. If the resistance of the heater is two kilo ohms, calculate the power rating of the shower. 
Question 3. The spotlight has a resistance of 3 ohms and is operated at 12 volts. Calculate the power rating of the spotlight when it's operating at 12 volts. Question 4. The power developed in the resistor is 7.5 watts, with the current through it is 1.25 amperes. Calculate the resistance of the resistor. So have a shot at each of these. If you're not sure, go back and have a look at the examples. Pause the video. The solutions are on the next slide. Remember to be careful of the squared terms and be careful of where we have scientific notation, non-standard units, for example, a kilo here. Question five, the information shown below is for an electric food mixer. Here we have a ratings plate. The ratings plate is going to give us all the information we need to answer the question. We're asked to calculate the resistance of the electric food mixer. Question six, we're getting information from a circuit this time. So we're using our ability to extract information from a question. We have a supply of nine volts. We're told that the current in the lamp is 1.5 amperes. The reading of the voltmeter is six volts. Calculate the power developed in the lamp. Which of the equations are you going to use? Writing down what you know will tell you which equation to choose. If you have current and voltage, as in this example, you can use P equals IV. If you have voltage and resistance as one of the other examples, you can use P equals V squared over R. Here are our answers. Check them against the solutions you got. If you got them wrong, have a try again. Have a look back at the examples and see what you can do. So in this past paper question, we're given a ratings plate. The ratings plate is going to have all the information we need to answer the question. V is equal to 230 volts. P is equal to 920 watts. And I'm being asked to find R. So V, P, and R tells me I'm going to use P is equal to V squared over R. Substituting the values, 920 is equal to 230 squared divided by R. Before you move on to the point where you're going to be rearranging, it's useful to work out that top value. So we end up with 920 is equal to 52900 divided by R. So R is going to be equal to 52900 divided by 920, which is equal to 57.5 ohms, which is 